but I'm going to attempt to build a game um, package that's not inside the BLFS book. Now many of the libraries it uses we've already built and are available in BLFS. There may be one or two extra supplemental supplemental libraries that need to be installed. Um, but I'm going to start by downloading the file. If I go to Wesnos in the search should take us to the home page and there's a download there and that's what we want the source we'll click on that take us to source forge so it might take a little while to download let's save it and go back to the Wesnos page you can um, also read all about it on the web page checksums and other downloads see what's under there how to compile the source code now usually there's either something on the website or there's a file within the source package that describes how to build it so let's see what requirements it needs so GCC 5 or later or CLang 3.8 later. Let's see what version of CLang we've got. Um, that will be with LLVM. So we've got 9.01 by the looks of it. So that should be right, and we need these libraries. And it says boost libraries greater than 1.56. So let's see what boost we've got 1.72. So that's okay, but it says plus the following binary lib. So I'm not sure if we've got them, they may be options as part of the compile that may be compiled, I don't know. Now these ones here, we'll, we'll have to find out about that when we try to compile it. These ones here have a feeling that these are separate downloads um, from when I've built this before, STL2. Let's see, yeah that's the only time STL appears in the list, STL2. There's only a patch. I think we've got STL2 even. No, we haven't even downloaded STL2. We've got STL1, but not 2. So um, I think we need to start by downloading that while the other one's downloading. We can install this. Oh, is it capital STL? Oh yes, we have got it okay in the patch. I thought we did. So um, yeah, again, it, um, I have a feeling these might be separate downloads. We might have to visit the STL2 web page to get those. Um, font config 2.4.1. Let's check that. 2.4.1. Yeah, we've got 2.13, so that's fine. Cairo greater than 1.10. Cairo. We've got 1.17. So that's okay. Pango greater than 1.22 with the Cairo back end. Well, we've definitely built it with the Cairo back end. So let's look for Pango. 1.44, so that's okay. Vorbis file, I'm not sure what that is. If it's libvorbis, we've got it. Otherwise, that might be another download. We've got libbz2, we've got libz, that's from, these are both from Linux from scratch, the original project. 
lib crypto from OpenSSL. Well, we've got OpenSSL installed, so I'm assuming we've got that installed. And then there's some extras here for additional features. So the only one with a version there, we've got Dbus and we've got Readline. But for bid, he's got a version 0 0.10.9, and that's only really if you need a, a bi directional text language. So let's just check that 1.08.8. Yes, well, it's better than that, so that's good. Um, has that finished downloading? That was quick. So it tells us what to do here. We can build it either with scones on CMake. So let's extract it. You can see it's quite a big file. It's about half a gigabyte download. So it's quite a big download. So with scones, you can either build a whole lot with scones if you want the server as well as the game. If you just want the game, scones where's not? It's quite simple. CMake is a little bit more involved. And there's some build options. So we can specify a prefix of do scones because we're the simpler of the two. Um, and what I'm going to do is to install it into the opt directory so we can create a versioned um, directory and that means you can update it as they release new versions. So it looks like we do scones prefix equals opt um, and then this file name here. In fact, we do this NOS and then we can create a, a link. So we'll create an opt WESNOS directory. SV opt where's north to opt where's north on its own so you can see we've got where's north points into the version directory so all we need to do now is to install it into the where's north directory see if there's any other options to install the translations, take longer to build. So you can hard code the user preferences and data directory. Specify which C program to use. A few extra flags and things. We can try compiling link time optimizations. So, should we have a go at that one? Let's try that. Make it run a little bit faster if it's needed. Um, I presume this is going to be a yes. And jobs equals four. And we just want to bring the build the game. Don't want to bother with the server. So let's try that. I'm not sure how long this takes to build off the top of my head. It's not too long. It's um, maybe 10 minutes or so. I can't, can't exactly remember. It's not quick, but it's not an age. Right. It's saying it didn't have a requirement. One of the requirements met. Unit test is able to prove it's not met.
Right, so it looks like we do have to get hold of the TTF, the mixer and the image libraries. So let's look for those. SDR2 underscore TTF and I'm hoping it will take us to a web page. Looks like there's a project here, yeah. TTF. Looks like this might be the home first, all of the projects actually, yes it is. So the first one I want is TTF, so let's go back in there again. And we want the source, let's take the tar GZ. So save that. Now I'll build this in another tab, so we can leave this where it's not ready and waiting to build. So let's extract STL2 underscore TTF. And why not use the STL2 as a hint on how to build these? I imagine it's not going to be much different. So they're using a fairly straightforward configure and prefix equals user. So let's first of all just look and see if there's anything about installing this. Changes, just look for any files, it might be text files, there's a copying directory there, a readme, so there's no install, but there is a readme, so let's view that in via. So it tells us to use configure and make, so I think that looks like it's going to be fairly simple. Let's do configure help to see what other options there are. So we'll start with configure prefix equals four slash user, as most of these installations are. And let's see what options we've got. Specifically, So the only one that really might be a benefit to put in is with X, to use the X window system. So let's put that in, see what happens. That seems to have built all right, let's, uh, sorry configure, let's build it. That seems to have worked. Um, is there a help with make? No there isn't, let's see if there's any tests. No, check, no, it doesn't look like there's any tests. Let's see if there's some documentation to build. No, there's no docs directory. Let's just try Doxygen on its own. No, it doesn't look like there is. So we'll just do sudo minus e make install. Oops. So what I'm going to do is remove the .a files as the STL instructions have done. Um, so they're static libraries by the looks of it. So let's do that. Lib STL2. So it should delete the TTF. Yeah, it's just the one file. And that should be it for STL2. TTF. So I know this won't run, but I'm just going to redo the config command to make sure that the library is now being picked up with this library. So I'm hoping this will say yes now or come up with a path. And it has, look, it's come up with yes. So that's good. That shows that, well, it's given us a good idea that it's 
installed TTF correctly, we've built it correctly and installed it correctly. So let's go back here and install the next one which is Mixer. So I download the package again. And I'll go back to the other tab. Look, oops, um, there's a readme again. There's no install, so let's just have a quick look at this again. Oops. So we can enable tremor decoding with that flag, that switch, and Also enable it, enable um, libmat as well, decoding. So let's try and do a configure and help. Let's see what options we've got here. Oh yes, there's loads of options here. Well, let's run a configure by itself in case it comes up with summary. So it hasn't. There's a few warnings. Can find mod plug. Can find fluid sinks. Well, I don't think they're installed. It's found for this file, so that's good. That was one of the requirements for Wesnos. It's found FLAC, MPEG-3, so that's good. Couldn't see anything else about the um, tremor at all. We can try Adding this in. All right, I couldn't find the Og Forbus library. Okay, so let's just try Og. Yeah, that's how it was before without the switch. So I think just the default is going to be fine for us. So let's build it. I presume there's not going to be any tests again. No, it doesn't look like it. So let's just install it. And that's done. So again, I'm going to rerun the West North build just to check that it's found the library and it has. So it's just the image one we've got to do next. Assertion failure. Not sure what that means. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to break at that point because there's no point in carrying on. And I'm going to go back and get the next one, which is SDL2 image library. So I'll do that one there. Download it again. Make sure we download in the source. So let's have a look again what we've got. 
changes copying read me again so let's look at read me there's no specific information here so let's run configure help don't really look there's any extra options for this oh well, I can set some here by the looks of it so I wonder we can install some of these I wonder if we just run configure prefix equals user if we get a summary at the end of this maybe no but we can see that it's picked up png jpeg tiff the web p let's see if there's any other options here oh so they're all defaulting to yes assuming you can find them so that's okay so we'll have found everything it can find so let's do make let's chance make check checks test or tests no so let's just do make install it's done so we'll go back here we run the scons command sure what that's about let's ignore that might be the best thing is to re um, restart this from the beginning looks like it's building anyway yeah maybe I'll um, just start this from scratch So it looks like it's just those three SDL libraries that we're missing that we need to install. Okay, let's do CD Wesnoth. Call that scones command and we'll try building it again. So it's trying to open audio. So maybe it's trying to open the audio device and it's failing for some reason. So let's just do it ignore again and see what happens. It may be that it will build and there won't be any sound, that's a possibility.
Right, so that's built. It took eight and a half minutes, so it's not too bad. So let's just check the documents again to see what we do next. Uh, the right mouse. Probably what we need to do is just install it. Install, yeah. Guess I'll just put install after this, do I, or is it just gone to install? Let's try that. Looks like that's it. So I'm not sure if a file would have been installed here, let's type it in, no it doesn't look like it, but we can easily remedy that by um, going to applications, games and right clicking the window, um, edit applications, We want a new item in games. Called Resnoth. Yeah, that's gone in the right place. Let's give it a icon. Let's see if there's one in the um Wesnoth location. So again, I'm going to use the link, probably on the share. Let's try where's North data. Themes, maybe, no. AI. No, let's try the binary. Uh, where's North bin? Maybe not. Let's look for one of these file types. SEO. Well, let's do it in opt. So there is a personal icon, but it doesn't look like it's been installed. Let me check the real. No, let's put um, put this into the West North directory. Share. We should have created an icon folder there actually. Um, yeah, let's create an icons directory. So, sudo create that uh, mkdir and then sudo copy those icons into there, so we should have a couple of icons here now, let's refresh that, nice north icons, there they are there, so all we've got to do is move them into the icons directory, move them into the wrong place, okay this is behaving a little bit differently to what I'm used, let's do it like this, MV opt West North share West North star dot ICO into opt West North share 
Why is North icons? Okay, that's better. So we want the West North icon. There you go, we've got an icon for it. And Right, was it the battle for Wesnoth, is it? Battle for Wesnoth, yeah. So I'll put the description in and the command will hopefully somewhere in that directory opt oops Wesnoth bin there is a binary. And in theory, that should be all we need. So let's try running that. So go to applications, games, there it is, Battle of Wisnos. And there it is loading. So it goes through some hints. But what you really want to do is click on tutorial. And yeah, this is nice and fast, this is, so that LTO optimization does seem to have worked. So you can see it takes it through uh, basics of how to play the game. And it's basically a turn-based game on this hexagonal map. And you learn how to play it. So let's move him next to this chap here. And yeah, so that's it. That's a, a file, a, an application that's not part of BLFS. And so how you may have seen this somewhere and decided I want to install that on NFS. Download it, read the documentation, how to install it. Found that we needed some more libraries that's, that also aren't in NFS, but we used sorry BLFS, we use BLFS as a, a hint um, to guide us as well as reading the docs for those, it wasn't much but you can generally run a configure command with help to find out what's needed to, to be done and then um, compile the package and here we have a program that seems to be running fine um, I'll leave it, I don't know if I'll be able to see if I can save the game now, it's the end of my turn. Uh, yeah, save game. Contact your packager, okay. Maybe there's something else that needs to be... Maybe I need to come out with this tutorial, possibly. Let's quit to my menu. Quit the desktop. Could be there's yeah, it looks like there may be more configuration to do than to to quit. To allow it to quit, yeah. It could even be the LTR. I know sometimes the LTR does cause problems. So what I'm going to do is quit this from here and have a go at recompiling it. But without the LTO, so let's recover that. It should compile quicker this time. Extract the package again. Okay, let's see, where's North? 
and we would call that configure command. I'll remove the LTO option and just build it as it is. And should, as I say, it should be quicker this time because it's not got to do the optimizations. And with any luck, that will fix that problem about the links not working. Okay, we've got that. I'm not sure what that's about.
Okay, well, in actual fact, that took about the same amount of time, which is surprising. So let's install it with scones. Install, see if it works like this this time. And let's rerun it. Should be able to find it. Yep. And let's start a campaign this time. And now I'm going to try and save the file. Okay, so it does look like there's some more um, options that might need to be set um, as part of the configuration. In fact, what we could do even is look for that. Opening links is not supported. Contact your packager. Well, that's strange. That's not coming up. In the um, search, so... It's not supported. Compact. Oh, compact. Contact your packager. Well, that's not coming up with much. Let's try on Google. There's any other options here, so the only other thing I can think to do is to build it using CMake. See if it builds any differently.
So let's build or oh create build directory. And so this is see make GUI displays options. Sure, what I'm doing here. Yes, I'm going to have used this before, so I don't know what I'm doing. I won't bother with that anymore. I'm going to just empty the build directory and build it with the instructions I've got here um, with the prefix as well. Like it might need the actual, the real prefix. No. Nope. Oh, do I have to put a minus D in front of it? That's probably what it is. That's better. And run make. Let's time this. So this should just use make flag, so looks like already it might be actually be quicker.
Okay, so that's taken actually nearly a minute longer. But let's do the install. So just sudo make install. Let's try this again. Right, so let's try these actions. Yeah, so it was obviously the scones option was affecting the build in some way that it didn't um, build correctly for some reason. Um, there wasn't any mention of any tests that could be run, so that's a bit of a shame. But if I save that and exit the game... Should be able to run it again. That's the favourites. And should be able to load that game now. Looks like it was an auto save the last time. Well, I know it might have been this time actually. Let's load that. And yep, there's the game as it was. So that's all working fine. Um, let me just see if there was a make check. No. No, it's not at all. But anyway, that shows how you can um, build a um, external package and integrate it into your Beyond Linux from scratch installation.